Chubby and welcome back to my channel. As we all know, I love cooking. If you guys have watched any of my videos in the past five years that I've been here on YouTube, I cook a lot. And I've realized recently that my videos make it seem like I am perfect in the kitchen and everything just always goes according to plan, but I wanted to come on and tell you, it does not. And I also love trying out and recreating recipes, so I figured we'd just make this series where I basically show you guys behind the scenes of me trying to test recipes and just seeing how it goes. Welcome to the series, let's get started. Hello guys. All right, so starting off with this recipe, I have the Tasty video pulled up here. There are a million views, wait, I think there's more. 5.3 million views, that's insane. So we gotta figure out what ingredients I do have. I have literally nothing in my fridge right now. We got butter, check. I don't have milk, I don't have eggs. I do have flour, I do have sugar. And then we need food coloring and whipped cream. All right, so we just gotta get a couple. We just gotta get a couple things. Look how beautiful she is. We've got every food coloring you could ever want. Yeah, I think we're good on all of that. Yeah, we just gotta get milk and eggs. Let's go. Welcome to downtown LA. I have nothing to say. We're still walking. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to get away. Ooh. We've arrived at the eggs. We're gonna grab brown eggs, I don't know. Gotta make sure none are cracked. We're good, okay. That's all we needed. I also got some cereal, don't look at that. <laughs> all right guys, we made it back from the grocery store and um, believe it or not, almost every single time I forget something and this time I did. I totally forgot to get the cool whip, which family guy reference. Um, Hold on one second. Hello? Ooh, the whatever's the blue one, please. Okay, thank you, bye. All right, that was the Postmate, so he's picking up our Cool Whip for us, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> I've never really made a crepe before. I'm leaving for Paris in a few days, so I figured this would be the perfect time to try. All of the ingredients are laid out here. All right, two and a quarter cup of this. Ooh, we're gonna get real technical. I learned this in home ec back in uh, eighth grade at El Rancho Charter School. You use the back of a knife, level it off. One quarter. And then two cups of this. That's a lot of flour. Oh yeah. What was our home ec teacher? I don't even remember her name. I don't remember her Whatever, she's shaking. Boom, okay, good. I'm excited. I actually have a really good feeling about this. Do you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Check and check. Side note, I've learned with doing all these cooking videos, clean up as you go and you'll thank yourself later. All right, next up we have, with the flour, we're gonna add in six eggs. I'm gonna crack them in and then whisk it all together. I'm gonna try it with one hand. Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna try both. Oh, oh, I have a bad feeling. Oh, we're good. Two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna whisk this all together. This is really clumpy. Ew! It's all clumpy. Is this how theirs look? Yeah, no, didn't, did not look like this. My IKEA utensils are not working so hot. Did I do it? I couldn't have done it wrong. It was one step. Ow. Ah, oh, man, I forgot to put the sugar in. I'm so bad at this already. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna add the sugar in. It's gonna be good. We're gonna add in how much sugar? Seven tablespoons, okay. Ah, oh, this is already so bad. Seven, okay. One job, one job. I honestly picked this recipe out too because I was like, this is so easy. I can't mess this up. Who's surprised? No one. Oh man, Ikea. <laughs> Eli, this is so bad already. Love you, Ikea, sponsor me. This is good enough. We're gonna clean out this whisk. I'm gonna see if I have another one that won't break on me. One second. We're back, we got a new whisk. I made strides. Honestly, adding the sugar made it a lot better. Now we're gonna mix three cups of milk along with six tablespoons of melted butter and we're gonna alternate both in and then I think it's pretty much done. That was pretty easy. Mm, it wasn't, not for me. We got the butter. Six tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt this up in the microwave. While the butter's melting, I'm gonna pour three cups of milk into this uh, measuring bowl cup. Also in home ec, I learned you're supposed to get it eye level. How did I retain all of this? I don't know. Ooh! Oh no, it exploded. Beautiful. You're doing great, sweetie. Now we're gonna alternate between the two. I'm gonna add in a little milk, and then with my strong whisk that is from Target, I'm gonna mix this in. Ooh, yeah, yeah, she's looking good. Smells like popcorn. Oh, more milk. 
gently stirring. I have high hopes again. Butter. It really feels weird to not fake smile in a kitchen. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> oh! Joshua has arrived. Hi! Oh, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> cool whip acquired. Shout out Joshua. I am a ready whip kind of gal. We got six bowls from Ikea. Hopefully they don't combust on us this time. Oh, Josh. Okay. And now I take a cup measurement and I'm going to put a cup of the batter in each bowl. So cute. He looked like a brat doll. Oh yeah. Much more efficient. All right guys, time to add the food coloring in. I'm gonna do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple because that's what they did on the video. Most of my food coloring came from Amazon, shout out. I'm just gonna do a little whisk. Ooh yeah, oh you know what? What I have learned from doing so many food videos with food coloring, you wanna put in more than you'd expect because when they cook out, it loses the color. Ah! Also fun fact, this counter stains like no other. And I've learned that the hard way through the years of doing cooking videos. Ooh, that's perfect. People are gonna be like, the food coloring! I'm like, I know. That's so much food coloring. Looks pretty good to me. They look good. They look so unnatural. Just neon, unicorn puke. Beautiful. All right guys, we're now on to the cooking process, which I am a little nervous about. I'm gonna use some coconut oil spray and then I'm using this pan that my mom got me from I think TJ Maxx. Thanks mom. It looks like the pan in the video and I'm going to cook them over medium high heat. If you follow me this way, we've got all of the batter here and then I also laid out a couple still packs just to let some of them cool when they're done cooking. And I think we're gonna make three of each color, I'm pretty sure. And I'm using a one third measuring cup thing. That's what they did in the video. And yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Let's start with the red, right? Or should we start with the purple? Purple first, okay. Side note, I know you're not supposed to spray your pan once it's already hot, but I do it and I haven't died yet. Third cup of this, pour it in. There are so many clumps in this. I don't know how to do anything. All right, she's ready to flip. I'm gonna use the spatula. Oh, this, you know, no, not too hot. That's okay. So we started with the purple at the bottom because uh, practice makes perfect and this is gonna, this is gonna take me some time. I mean, not awful. Not good either though. <laughs> if I were to make this again, which I'm never gonna make this again, I would sift the flour next time because that's my issue for sure. Move it around. Oh Bring yeah. Bring it around town. I have a better feeling about this one. Bring it around town. I think it's ready. My tactic now. I'm gonna use this to flip it onto this and then flip it over. Let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, ooh, yeah! That was good. Now we let this cook for a little bit longer. This one looks so much better than the last one. It's a little overcooked, I will say, but that's okay. You can't see it with all the whipped cream on top. All right, we got attempt number one, attempt number two. I'm gonna keep doing this. Attempt number three, look how beautiful, you guys. Oh, that looks so good. All right, guys, to save time, and because I don't have much space for all of these crepes, I'm gonna start assembling it while I'm still cooking the other colors. Just started on the blue. I'm gonna take the Cool Whip now. We're starting with the worst one which was the first one. We've got some gaps. She's okay, she's got character. Spread it around. Second layer, going down. We're gonna more cool whip. I gotta stop that, sorry, it was only funny once. This looks bomb. Okay, look at that, we're killing it. I've got a hole in one of them that won't fill. Come on. It's actually very therapeutic, I will say. I'm also decorating this on my plate that I decorated myself at Color Me Mine. <laughs> I'm getting good at this crepe making, you guys. Look at that. Maybe your next job could be a crepe maker. Hire me, that place at the promenade that makes them. This one looks like an omelet. Side note, I think the heat was a little too high, so I'm lowering it now. With the lighter colors, it's more apparent when they're like a little too crispy. We're back. I made the most beautiful yellow crepe. Look at this. I flipped it already. That's already flipped. It looks good, right? I'm proud of myself. He nodded at me. Side note, in between each layer, you wanna let them cool at least like a couple minutes because if you keep putting them on, they're too hot and then the Cool Whip on top starts to melt with the heat. So just a pro tip that I learned just now, which I probably should have thought about because common sense, but it's okay. We're just putting more Cool Whip now on just to balance it all out. All right guys, we are on the last couple layers. We've got a lot of them honestly broke, but it's okay because uh, no one's gonna know when we cut in. Whipped cream here, a little more, and then in the video they like cover the whole 
cake in it. So we're gonna do that. It doesn't look that good, but I have a good feeling that when we cut in, it's gonna look better. They also didn't like cut the edges in the video. They just went straight for frosting it, which I mean, fine by me, less work. We're just getting the edges here. All right guys, <laughs> cake is done. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world. If I had tried a little harder, I feel like it could be, but what matters is what's on the inside. So let's cut it. There we go. Oh wait! <gasps> oh, I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm scared. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! Oh wait! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Honestly, not. Oh man! Shoot! Hold on! Oh my god, you guys! Honestly, much better than I was expecting. I'm gonna take a bite of all the layers together. One massive rainbow crepe bite. Ooh! Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Taste test. One, two, three. Mmm. <gasps> That is so good, oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me trying to make viral food. Comment down below and let me know other viral foods you'd like me to make. Yep, hope you guys enjoyed it and probably whipped cream on my face. I'll see you next time, bye!